How do you feel about the news coming out that last week apparently Slash and Axel made amends and, like they're better now? Well, there was actually, actually I haven't talked to Slash about that, but I know that there was some big clues that that was happening. Anyways, the fact that Axel was able to put out uh, a DVD a year ago that has the old songs on it and there's sync rights that need to be obtained by the songwriters and Axel would never give Slash that and Slash would never give Axel that because neither one of them wanted the other one to record the old songs of new people. You could record them and put them out as music but not video because they're sync rights but the fact that Slash had signed off on that means that Duff may have, you know, kind of been a good middleman and got, you know, kind of made some kind of peace. And then Axel signed off that Slash could use it on his DVD that he, he just released this year. But the big, those are two clues that, that things had changed in, in between them. Not necessarily friends, but at least not so much animosity. But the big clue was Daryl James, who's Axel's right-hand man, tweeted, happy, birth, happy 50th birthday to Slash, may you have 50 more, or something like that. That, and that was happened July, uh, July 23rd, I believe, so. That was the clue that the hatred was gone from the act from the GNR camp towards Slash, and that they had some sort of understanding, whether they had met in person or talked on the phone or texted or who knows. But could have just been email. It doesn't matter. Whatever it was, the animosity had diminished, and they might not be friends like. We're going to dinner, let's go bowling or whatever, but at least that barrier of, 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 of that Berlin Wall or whatever you want to call it is broken. So, you know, whether or not they're hanging out and having barbecues, that's a whole other issue. But it's a very good sign for the future for many different reasons. It means they could now celebrate the children they made together. You know, you don't see much coming out, you don't see DVDs coming out, you don't see box sets of, you know, Appetite for Destruction, 25th year remix, or, or not remix, but something with extras, you know, outtakes, whatever you want to call it. Uh, different mix, yeah, you know, completely different mixes of songs with different fun parts to it. Now you might see something like that because they could, they, they, now they have an understanding and maybe they could work with that. Whether or not there's going to be a reunion. You know, I think someday Slash will be on stage with Axel. Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Daniel Sarkissian. I'm an independent filmmaker from Toronto.